precognitive dreams. It was my own sister before she passed that visited me in a dream. I was in London. She was in New York, but she had been ill for some time and I knew she was suffering. So we had a conversation. It's like, okay, you know, go home, go to the light. It's okay. Her sons are grown men, but I mean, it's like, don't worry. I'll, I'll keep track of them. You know, and so it, it wasn't a surprise again that preparation that you're talking about. When a few days later, I get a call from New York saying that she had passed away. So that's one of the things that I talk about the different types of dreams and how they can indicate something or prepare us for something or just frame something for us so that we can focus on it. Dreams have the power of being able to shift things because it helps us to, to be more laser-like in our attention. My great-grandmother was teaching me about plants in her dreams, and she said I was the rudest child on earth. Now, I've never met my great-grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, she had her opinions and she's a good teacher. But yeah, I mean, we did butt heads from time to time. So, you know, visitations from deceased loved ones or about to be deceased loved ones, I think, is more common than people may want to admit, actually. 